Oh, I want out, people. So, hype in the morning. Probably already had some coffee or something. But what's going on, guys? We're uh, still in bed, but we're about to wake up. You can't even really see me, can you? There we go. Um, so we're just in Cobar at the moment. I think we're going to spend another day here, mess around. But tomorrow, uh, we're heading to Broken Hill, and we're going to film some of that. So this is a spot I'm most keen to film, uh, just because of the look out here. I don't know how it's going to look on the video, but from here it looks pretty cool. Um, just filming this beforehand because there's a lot of uh, a lot of wind out there, and you won't be able to hear me. But hopefully, as I, I'll film, I'll film myself walking up there, and hopefully, as I walk up there, no snakes jump out and up because I'm in some pluggers at the moment. I've got my flip flops on. But yeah, I'm gonna finish these twisties, and we're gonna go do that. Coming up. Yo, quick tip. When you're done with your food, yeah, put it in the bin. just now. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do today uh, is we're going to call Mum. Uh, not only to let her know that I haven't fallen down a mine shaft because I'm on all these adventures and that, uh, but more specifically because it's her birthday today. Uh, she turns 52, so we're going to do that and then we're going to go out and see what Broken Hill has for us.
Yeah, we're gonna show you guys this view in a minute. But uh, first, we have some lunch. We got a uh, a Vegemite scroll. Yo, these things slap. And uh, the drink maybe just got this little little sprite here. Mad looking uh, can. <laughs> Now that we've finished that, um, I'll show you what this looks like. So what you're looking at there is uh, the line of load, right? But that's where all the mining happens around here. So one of the things I've noticed here, that was really messy. One of the things I've really noticed in this town, uh, Broken Hill, is they really care about like the history of the place. Like all the buildings look good. Um, there's a lot of information. There's very little graffiti. I mean, there was a little bit you saw on that, um, I think it was an air compressor, right? Um, there was a little bit of graffiti on that, but for the most part, you know, the busts and all that, the syndicate of seven. Um, the, the dudes that like originally founded BHP and all that like it's all like it's it's been left alone you know like it's been respected and that as for the town too I'm surprised with like how remote it is or for how remote it is like you know it's got good shops you know it's got Maccas it's got KFC it's got Coles Woolies like you know it's not a bad place it's a bit hot like at the moment I'm sure it gets hotter than this but it's a nice little, I don't know, I like, I like the architecture, I like the aesthetic of the town. Well, if it's a town or a city, I don't know, but yeah, it's nice. And it's peaceful too, like it's real quiet, no one's really, I mean every town has its people, but it's not too, um, it's not too hectic, you know, it's, it's laid back in that. Yeah, not to mention where I am now, what's this, uh, I think it's Joe Keenan, right? I can see Keenan Lookout, so I don't know if it's actually Joe Keenan Lookout or Keenan Lookout, you'll, you'll see in the video anyway, but um there's a mad panorama of the whole the whole town city whatever it is um with like mountains in the background and that and then you got the uh what is it, the, the line of load over here so you, you can look out over there i'm gonna open it up and show you can you see that there's a little bit in there wouldn't pay near 12 dollars for it but on the road man it's that good you know that'll end the broken hill video So I'm thinking at the end of these videos, uh, what I'm going to do is like end with like a quote, you know, it might be motivational or just affirmations, things like that. And so I've got one here and uh, it's actually quite fitting because it's how I feel right now. Uh, it says, without deviation from the norm, progress is not possible. And that's by a bloke called Frank Zappa. And um, that, that's just it. If you don't get out of your comfort zone in that and you don't, you don't break this cycle, like, what do you expect to change, you know? It's just gonna be the same thing day in, day out. Um, I get that we can be afraid to take the next step in that, but I don't know, life's too short to really think about what if, and like the intro on this video says, if not now, when, like literally when, because you've only got this one life, when are you gonna start doing things? Like, I've never understood waiting until retirement or working 40 years to go do something, because I feel like me being in my prime right now, 
although I should be working, if I really want to travel and do things, like, the best time is to do it while I'm young and able, right? Um, because when I'm older, like, I'm just not going to be as agile or have the, the mobility, you know? Anyway, uh, I read that one. I thought that'd be nice to put in there. Uh, just some motivational stuff. Like, I know people are watching this. We might need this cargo. I know people might be watching this and thinking, like, you know, I'm jealous of this and that. Oh, he gets to do that. Like, the only difference between me and you, probably, is, like, I've just put the fuel in the car and gone for a drive, you know? Like, I sleep in the back of the car. You probably can't hear me right now, but it's just... If you really want something, it's that mindset. Um, everything's scary, right? Like, your house could get broken into, your car could get broken into while you're out traveling. There's all these things, but, you know, take those into consideration, but you can't allow that to hold you back. But, yeah without deviation from the norm, progress is not possible. Frank Zappa.